is going to talk about now. So, Kate, if you hang on there, we'll come back to you because Labour has launched an attack on the Conservative leadership candidates and uh, challenging them to back plans to insulate our houses. This is all very well and good. This costs a lot of money. But overall, they say it could save you as a family, uh, generally, all of us collectively, £11 billion pounds in energy bills. OK, so here is Alex Norris. Alex is the Shadow Minister for Levelling Up and the Future of the Union. Alex, good morning to you. Good to have you on board. Um, what, we're, what we're really saying, Alex, is we've heard all of this before and there's no doubt, yes, in an ideal world, this would have to be done. But goodness me, I know you're talking about saving 11 billion, but who pays for all of this? I mean, I mean, first of all, we have to recognise this is a moment of extraordinary national pressure. Families up and down the country, people up and down the country are really struggling. I think what they expect to see from their leaders is decisive action, and that's what we've offered today. Of course, this comes with a cost. We've put out a, a fully funded uh, package that covers... Uh, freezing the the, uh, the energy price cap, uh, as Keir Starmer committed last week, uh, and also to cover this announcement. So, you know, of course, these things come with a cost. We're not chucking money around and, you know, that doesn't exist, but we think people need action now, and that's what we're offering. Um, and you don't think that Rishi Sunak or Liz Truss have come up with anything as good as what you say is is a winning warm homes plan? Well, no, because they haven't offered one at all. Um, you know, the reality is that you watch the um, the conversations being had in this this leadership contest. Well, they're very different to the conversations that are being had at, in households up and down the country where people are worrying about making their bills stack up. You know, so we're offering the, the possibility of 1.9 million homes being insulated quickly, saving that money, as you say, Eamon. Well, Rishi Sunak's been blocking policies like that in the Treasury. Uh, we understand that, you know, if you read the same newspapers I do, that it's likely to be quasi Kwarteng as the next Chancellor. Well, he, as uh, in his previous role, completely botched the previous inflation scheme. So, you know, they have a very poor track record. But frankly, I don't think my constituents, I don't think perhaps even GB News viewers particularly care about that now. They want to know what a politician's going to do to get this tackled. We're offering something here that would make a really significant difference. And that's why we think the government should accept it. Well, yeah, and Alex, you know, it is interesting. As I'm listening to you, I mean, I'm full of frustration. I think your constituents will be full of frustration as well. Nobody's doing anything. Boris Johnson's on his holidays. He's history. These two between them, it's all over. Don't even know why we're having a contest. Everybody knows Liz Truss is going to win it. What a complete and utter waste of time on how this really is harming people all around the country. How, how big is your frustration on all of this? It's huge. You know, if, if we had our way, we would be, you know, rather than me talking to you today from home in Nottingham, we would be in Parliament getting these things legislated for so they can get to work straight away. You know, this is, I'm angry, of course I am, as I can tell you are, Eamon, but what I am more is concerned for people in my community and across the country who are really scared about their ability to keep their heating on and to feed their family. And I think we need to meet that with the same level uh, of, of, of action. We're offering that, and it's very frustrating to see that the supposed government of the day don't want to.